See, I'm filming that boat on my webcam. Here's the computer hooked up to my cam. And this little tiny Logitech camera is running right here. It's sitting in the back of the uh, on a piece of foam. This is a doubler. This is a 600 millimeter Vivitar uh, manual focus lens that I bought in a used camera shop for $150. Doubler I bought for 20 bucks. And then this is the Logitech camera, a webcam that I bought at the uh, garage sale for a dollar. But it's coming in at, so we've got a 600 millimeter with a doubler on it, so 1200 millimeters. And I'm recording the sailboat, and I'll show you where the sailboat is. This camera does 10 times zoom. The sailboat is uh, about six, five to six kilometers away. And uh, I can see people on the boat in the camera. I can see people up in the red jacket, back of the boat. They're actually kind of sitting sideways to the current. And they're just drifting a little bit. Not really moving. Yeah, the, this camera does not work well with a, a moving uh, object. It only works well with stationary uh, objects. So I've tried out Logitech Quick Cam, which I took apart, and it did not work. I was going to put it on my laptop because I had a driver for this one, and it does not work. It's got a different barrel on it. So not every webcam will work. This one's got a nice barrel. It's the old 4000, Logitech 4000, and it works. There's no drivers for uh, newer laptops, but uh, on my desktop it really works. And there goes the sailboat. They've turned it, and it's going up in the current. And uh, we're sitting here watching. I think the zoom now, we've got an optical zoom of about 60. And on this tripod, it's extremely stable. Well, there you go. I'll show the video and show a couple other things that I took pictures of today. But uh, easy to make. Tripod, you have to have a good solid tripod. Any movement at 60 or 70 times. I mean, that's a full size 45 foot sailboat at about 5 kilometers. Pretty amazing shot. It's the uh, Deterioration from the uh, surface atmospheric conditions. You can see the heat 